Morning on today's stress-free holiday, which sounds like an oxymoron. <laughs> the keys to fun and festive cocktail parties. That's right. Siri Daly is a Today contributor and creator of the blog Seriously Delicious. Mm. Siri, good morning. Nice good morning. to see you. Good to see you. You had Let's me spread. here. Let's party. This was it. This Let's... is all Matt Lauer. So this, this, is, is this is our wine and cheese party. And with my parties, especially a wine and cheese party, I like to have a really simple, elegant decor. So I don't do tablecloths, just a nice, you know, table with um, not big flower arrangements, especially during the holidays. I like to do it distracts from the table, so I like to do just simple green shrubs like evergreen, some red holly, some uh, uh, scent-free candles, and then it's all about your cheese board. When you're doing a cheese board, how many different varieties of cheese do you I need like to, to have? I like to do, a, you know, a hard, a semi-soft, and then like something like a triple cream or oh, a brie. Oh, the triple cream goes fast. Exactly. We love drunken goat. I like to label all of my cheeses so people know what they're getting. Where'd you find these the, little things? The these rule, are great. The rule of thumb is about, I know, aren't they cute? You mm. can also find little like chalk, um, chalkboard cheese right. boards, and then you can write on it on the actual board. Um, about three ounces per person. Another big thing is to take your cheese out about a half hour to an hour before people yeah. come. You want so it at room temp. Up. Okay, and, and then you've got and to then combine you want a cheese variety. with So meats. I like lots of yummy meats like prosciutto, salami, um, you know, want to do some fruits. Honey is a really key ingredient because you can drizzle it on everything. Probably for so Matt sweet. and I, we get to a party and this is here. We never it's leave dinner. this table. Yeah, exactly. yeah, we never okay, leave so maybe dinner. more than three ounces per person if you guys are and, invited. And how do you know what wines to pair with what cheeses? So with a, like a soft cheese, like a triple cream, a Chardonnay is very nice. It's it's subtle. It lets the cheese sort of shine. Mm. With a hard cheese, like a like a aged Gouda or a Manchego, you want something a little more bold, like a Cabernet. Um, and then these are really cute. These everyone loses their wine glasses at parties. You mm -hmm. can find these on Etsy, or you can make them yourself. It's chalkboard. Oh, chalkboard so you can page. Your you can write your name on it, and then you're not going to drink anyone else's wine. You have more to do. Just leave me exactly. right here. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Continue on. Away. Continue on. What's next? Now we're having <laughs> girls' night in. Wait a minute. Girls champagne and chocolate. Champagne and Jack chocolate. Jackpot. So okay. So, so what do we start a with? A really fun idea for champagne is to yeah. take fruit and red and green. So we have our green grapes and cute. red raspberries. Freeze it. Put it on a skewer and freeze ah. it. And then it, it's a little ice cube, a little stir. Would you like one? Yes. Uh, okay, Siri, there we go. Do we know each other? Yep. Cheers. Yes. And the then another yes. fun Cheers. idea. Yes. I know we're not in college anymore. <laughs> yeah. But these are champagne jello shots. It elevates. Wait, how do you do your, that? So how you, do you make that? You take this and this has ginger ale champagne okay. actually a little vodka too okay so, you know uh-huh and you dissolve it with some gelatin yeah get half drink or and then you, you want to put it on the stove you don't want to boil it but you yeah. want to dissolve the gelatin and you put it in little ice cube trays or <laughs> right. exactly everyone the come boys on, have taken it. our jello right. shots champagne jello shots I want some <laughs> you can put it in a in um ice cube trays or a little loaf pan and cut it up but these are really cute All right, let's talk about the fondue portion exactly of this program, which so everyone really likes good. to customize their desserts i I, I do at least. So we have okay. a pretzel bar here with chocolate fondue. We have truffles. You can find the recipes for all of this on today.com. By the way, this is so delicious. Dip. <laughs> exactly. Dip. Yep. And then there's all these uh. various toppings like like um, crushed candy canes, nuts, uh, sprinkles. And then you can customize your truffles or your or your pretzels. By the way, and pretty easy. This entire exactly. setup is pretty simple, and this, right? This table is wrapped uh -huh. in um, wrapping paper because oh. everybody has leftover wrapping paper festive. around this time of year. So it's festive, little candy canes and mason jars. And it's, here are our toppings. This is the truffle portion. Okay, look put at this. this. Pretzel down. Okay, hold on. So we have. You just dunk it in exactly. here. Exactly. Drop it in. Exactly. Roll and it here's, around. Here's some uh, pistachios. Some. Uh, glitter. I mean, not glitter. That would yeah. not be edible. Glitter. <laughs> we don't want to dip it in glitter. We had glitter over at the kids' table. All right, Speaking head of the there, kids' table, there, Al, they stuck you at the kids' table. Well, huh? that's okay. All right, hot so now chocolate. another bar, hot chocolate bar. Ah. Uh, of course, this is for the adults. This is schnapps <laughs> and oh. Bailey's. So okay. you want to label that so the kids don't get Good involved. Idea. But kids love to customize their desserts sure. too. So we have crushed candy canes. Mm -hmm. We have some caramel sauce. We mm -hmm. have some chocolate chips and butterscotch right. chips. And for the table, wrap it in craft craft paper uh -huh. and then throw crayons about and they can draw all over the table Great keeps idea. them busy keeps them happy and then marshmallows these are marshmallows that mm -hmm. you take and you put on a little q-tip mm -hmm. and a little toothpick and then dip it in water right. first and then little sprinkles Ooh. and it sticks and then it makes their hot chocolates festive colorful nice. and then it'll just cool. dry on its own and a little ornament stuff and then yes always have at any kids party i like to have crafts colors so that they stay busy you can make Homemade little um, Christmas tree ornaments over here. You wow. can make cards for wow. your parents while Very they're nice. enjoying the cheese table. Can I just say, really nice, great, 
Really nice. Unbelievable. Fantastic. <laughs> I'll go back over there. Everything this is there. great. Also, a round table is great at the holidays because you stand around. I love eating at a round table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tommy Hogan, one of our great camera operators, been stealing <laughs> meat the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> He's been shooting this. Siri, this is really nice. Thank Cheers. you. Thanks, Happy Siri. holidays Thanks, awesome. to you. You can get those ideas at today.com slash food. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.